Tatum or the quarterback. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> All right, Khalil Lewis, Tatum or and Nicole right on. Dear. Well, Houston got that first one against um, Oklahoma, so that got the momentum rolling. UC beat UT Martin. This is not very good, I guess. So it's going to be a match, good matchup, but I think Houston will come out on the top. Um, Miami, Ohio is always terrible, so <laughs> I'm assuming UC will win that, but not watching UC very much. I don't know. Um, BYU. I haven't watched yet. I think UC should be able to win if their quarterback keeps it together and is don't anything dumb. Memphis isn't very good either. Um, UC just needs to come out striking and they'll beat them. Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, and <laughs> Obi, you're literally sitting there like snapping your fingers. One more team. <laughs> what? Give me a team. Oh, uh, Georgia. Oh, Florida State. Georgia. Florida State. Two key players that come to my mind immediately are uh, Josh Dobbs, uh, he's a return quarterback, and uh, Jalen Hurd, big uh, running back. Uh, I think Tennessee's going to have their way with Ohio, probably like some, I'd say 35-10. Ohio's usually not very good at football, so. Um, um, I would say, I don't know, Georgia's pretty good this year. Uh, they got a good program, uh, but I think Tennessee comes out. Probably something like uh, 14 10, low score game. Uh, Texas AM, I think she got upset in the first game, so I don't know. Uh, I think Tennessee will win that one. Uh, 21 0. Okay. Uh, well, the returning national championship, Alabama, is usually pretty good. Uh, I, guess so. I think they'll end up losing that game, but in a close match. Uh, 21-20. So, um, right now I'd say Alabama, Clemson, Stanford, and Iowa. Sure. JT Barrett, quarterback, obviously is coming back. Has a chance to have a big season, his first game, proof of that. Uh, but the rest of the offensive players, right, a lot of unknowns, but uh, um, a lot of guys with a lot of talent there. Um, but then I think on the offensive line, Pat Eifline, or Eifline, right, I'm not really sure how to say his name, but he's the only returning offensive lineman on defense. Got uh, Moeller's uh, you know, Sam Hubbard, right, D-line, which is big. But then also, I think there's a lot of speed and a lot of, a lot of opportunity there for guys to shine. And I think that one's going to go the other way. I think it's going to be more of a score fest, kind of like the last time they were up there, uh, especially since they got a little something to prove from last year. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that one's going to go big time in the Bucks' favor. So I'm going to go uh, 50 to uh, 18. Uh, this one, this one's a toss-up because uh, Harbaugh and what he's going to bring to the table, who knows, right? And eventually the win streak has to end. The mm -hmm. focus isn't this year, but the reality is, is the numbers game say we got it coming. So <laughs> I, got a, I got a bad feeling it's going to go for the U of M on this one, unfortunately. College football hey. playoff. Well, I think uh, if uh, the U of M gets it done against the Bucks, then they'll be in, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, Alabama is in because they're the chosen child, right? And other than that, it's going to be, a, I think it's anybody's game because if Iowa State takes care of Michigan State, then they'll be out. Um, and Wisconsin, too, then they would be out. Uh, so I don't know. It's going to be tough to see the other two teams. Clemson, I think, has a great chance. And it could be, you know, I'd love to see Houston get in there, right? And make it pretty interesting. Here. 
Well, obviously, we got the Beast, uh, Jabril Peppers, number five, and uh, Wilton Spate, QB1, for the Michigan Wolverines. About to tear up this year. Out of Iowa, blowout. We got 54 to uh, 14. No, you did nothing. I got Michigan over Alabama in the uh, championship, and uh, I'd say we're going to have um, Oklahoma and the other irrelevant team in the playoffs. I'm Irish for this year. Uh, my boy Ross Hamilton, he's a little injured right now, but he'll be back soon. Big return uh, this week. Austin O'Brien is going to have some key catches. Zach Lyons, he's a big man. And uh, let's go with Danny Neiman. He's performing pretty well. And Nick Niaus, one of the main captains. Home, blow him out. I'm thinking, I'm thinking 35 to 10. How about At more? They're nothing this year. Uh, I'm thinking 27 to uh, let's go 17. Uh, 87 to two. You heard it. Um, some key players are Zach Lyons, Nick Niehaus, Dan Neiman, running back Jack Words, <laughs> er, <laughs> <laughs> running back Jack Mazza, running back Jack Mazza. Uh, and wide receiver Dane Falachi. Um, I think the Panthers take it home 21 to 7. Um, I'm thinking we take home Moeller 28-24. Uh, uh, I think we blow them out of the water, beat them a little 45 to 28 action. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. <laughs>